Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time we parachuted into Midgar! And this time we are continuing the infiltration of Midgar. Hey, this looks familiar. Very familiar. Hmm. Oh, hey! You're new. You. Well, sort of. Uh, my god. Uh, okay, it shoots laser beams. That didn't seem to do anything, though, so... That suggests that it probably inflicts status effects of some kind. Hmm. Gravity Ball! Wait, I didn't even know you could get gravity balls at this part of the game. Huh. I mean, it's not useful, but just, I didn't know that. Really wish I knew what the, what that laser was doing. I mean, seemingly nothing, but that's sort of why I want to know. Oh, hey, turbo either. Cool. So, we're going to run this way. Ooh. Neat. We'll run this way some more! Oh hey, looks like there's a leak there. I guess Midgar's taking some damage. Okay, uh... This is starting to seem a little repetitive. Oh, there's a 16 now. Oh, oh hey! Number 5! Are we going through all of the sectors? Maybe. Oh, looks like they've sprung another leak. This one's in the ground, though. They really need to work on their wiring as well, I'd say. Uh, aha! Back attack! That was quick. Man, when was the last time I actually got a back attack like that? I don't even know. I really legitimately don't. <laughs> Sector 3... Oh hey! Wait! A power source? Man... Well, we still have further to go, so I suppose further we will go. These spotlights are actually really annoying to me, precisely because they do, they do this lengthy animation, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. And this was a counter of just three of them, so it must be supposed to do something. Like... Like, how do I want to say this? If it was just something to help other enemies, they w there wouldn't be an encounter that had nothing but them. And that's a third leak we've seen. Number two! Oh hey! Admittedly, the bad wiring is in a different- Oh hey! A guard source? Hey, Red. Okay. Thanks for the tip. We were interrupted by the battle, but I was still running down here. Um... Indeed, the cannon is not this way. But what is this way? What will we find when we reach sector- Wow, already? Man, that was fast. 15 AP, that's like nothing. 1500 AP, I mean. Almost there. I mistargeted with Tifa, but I think it'll be fine. But only if I actually get a go in the first place. I mean, it looks like- I mean, shooting a laser beam, there are explosions, but then nothing happens! And the thing itself looks sort of like a spotlight. 
So I just really don't know. Oh, I missed targeting with Barret, not Tifa. Well, that works too. Honestly, this is probably better for my health since these don't do anything. But I still would have preferred to kill the the it first. It would have at least used a little less time. Again, that is well. At least I get tons of of uh, eaters from them. A mind source, a magic source. Wait, this was number one, wasn't it? Huh. Go figure. And W item. Okay, so. We're gonna need to take a brief detour here. I mean, obviously we've already taken detour. No, I mean, ex it's explanation time. Uh, that thing I just got, W item. It lets you use two items. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? But that's not all it does. If I were playing any version of the game but the one I am playing, so if I were not, if I were emulating this, or if I was playing it on a PS. One, two, three, or four. Can you even get this on PS4? There is a glitch where you can use W item to uh, duplicate items. Uh, look it up if you want to know how to do that. I, I just said I can't do it myself. Uh, but that is really useful because, among other things, you can use it to really easily and cheaply get um, items you need. Like, for example, Chocobo Greens. It, that is the cheap way to do Chocobo Breeding. And that's the one place where I would normally use... Like, I don't usually use the that item duplication trick, except for the Chocobo Breeding, because it's so damn expensive. Um... Although, it can, you can also use it to duplicate things like Mega Elixirs and Elixirs if you want to make the game a lot easier. Uh, but honestly, the game isn't that hard in the first place. Uh, some of my pre previous deaths notwithstanding. Dead end! So I really don't think that's necessary. Although, having said that, I could see how a few extra Elixirs could help out a lot grinding through the battle corner. But again, it really is unnecessary. Uh, in any case, now that I've come all the way to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here until I reach back where we started. Because it's, it's gonna, well... Well, it took about eight or nine minutes to reach here. Let's, let's call it... <coughs> let's call it eight. So it'll probably take about eight minutes to get back, so you know, I'll, I'll see you there. Oh hey, we're back! Awesome. Who's here? Oh, well, presumably us. Oh hey, it's the Turks! Neat. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you probably can. What were your orders, anyway? <laughs> Elena seriously gets the short end of the stick with this organization, I think. Rhino's not really up for it either. Hmm. Is it really? The spirit of the Turks is to fo blindly follow orders? I would say that the spirit is cold professionalism. Personally. Um, which is a little bit different from what you just said. So here's the thing. We can totally just not fight them if we want to. Uh, if you've done the Wutai side quest, the first one, where Elena got kidnapped, 
uh, then you have an option of not fighting the Turks here. I'm still gonna fight them though, because I want to steal all of their stuff. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. Uh, I suppose I'll probably start the steal train with Elena, since she is the only one who I have not stolen from in the past. Uh, let's, uh, heal Barret. In fact, hmm. Minerva Band! Ha! Next up, we can do Reno. Tough Ring, get! And they're provo just provo provoking eh, all of the counterattacks from Barret. Like, seriously. Zydrich, get! Okay. Um. Hmm. Hades should be pretty effective against these guys. But it might be overkill, to be honest. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, okay, I need to heal Barret. Uh, properly. And honestly, this would probably not be out of place. Yep, okay, she's gone. Sure, let's do it. Why not? Give it to the Turks, they do hit pretty hard. Um, but they do leave something to be desired in the way of defense. Yep, that's regen in action. Okay, let's just use Hades. Uh, oh! He absorbs lightning! I did not know that. Okay, Barrett, you're still a little weak there on the hit points. Honestly, we need a better chance to see Hades anyway. Half of his animation was blocked out by Diamond Weapon last time. I mean, it sort of worked with Bahamut Zero because he's mostly in space, but it did not work for Hades. Feel the wrath of the Black Cauldron! Okay, well, they're weak against poison anyway. Oh, you're doing this again. Hmm. Honestly, I would have preferred to have that done a little bit more damage. Oh, nope, there we are. Because here's the thing. On the way back here, I got Barret's next limit break. Where do Which I was gonna show off right afterwards, but then we ended up fighting the Turks immediately. So, you know, figure that one out. Yeah, underground satellite strike. Come to think of it, doesn't Turk's Light inflict status effects? Hmm. You know, maybe I should beat up you instead. Uh. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, well, poison is working, that's for sure. Come to think of it, I should be using Death Blow, not regular attacking. Yeah, yeah. I guess I could summon Bond with zero on them, but I don't really want to. To be honest. Wait, was he spinning? Oh, okay, they just surrendered. Okay, then. That w works for me. Could do for more AP. Definitely should have more money. But you know, I gotta steal my stuff, so I'm happy. Uh, in fact... Oh, yes. That's more like it. 
Nullifier is fire, cold, gravity, and holy. I'm doing double duty on this. Uh, let's th go ahead and actually... Hmm. Sneak, love... Right, let's throw. go ahead and throw another ribbon on you. Do I have a third ribbon? No. Okay. I won't be immune to lightning or earth, but I'm not too worried. And more of you guys. Well, okay then. I guess I'll just, uh... Yeah. Hmm. I don't really want to kill things with Barret as much right now, since he no longer has any more limit breaks to unlock in that manner. He just he just needs a spam satellite beam at this point, really. And then he's set. I'm at, it just occurred to me, but I'm not going to show off that at the rate we're going. I'm not going to end up showing off any of the second tier level three limits. That seems like a bit of a shame, but it's because I've been spreading out, out my dudes so much. And I've already gotten the level 4s for almost everyone. Okay, left or right? Yuffie's here. Uh... What does my note say? They don't. I guess we'll go right. Yep, that's a leak. Oh hey! Awesome! We mastered Mug! Now we can get rid of it. Um... Materia. Get rid of Mug. What do I put here now? Uh, I'm tempted to just put my new steel here, to be honest. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I could put... I really want to see what happens if I combine it with Double Cut. Hmm. But for now, we'll just put the, the second steel. Uh, yeah. No, that... that hmm. I'm just thinking, I don't know if there's anything else I really care about stealing from. At least in Midgar. Hey, Sid! Zero? I, I guess I'll go this way. Oh, there's a dead end. Well, that answers that question. Obviously, we go the way that's not a dead end. Oh hey! It's a way out! I wonder if there's an item over on that other turn. Hey again, Yuffie! Okay, uh... Huh. You know, I think we'll stop off here. Join me next time! as we continue the Midgard infiltration. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Kiss Blue, and have a great day. Bye!